Hi, this is key point seven, and key point seven is cubes and cube roots. Um, first of all, we need to define what we think of as a cube number. So these are the cubed numbers here. They are 1, 8, 27, 64, and 125. Where do they come from? Well, they come from the idea that we have a cube, like so, and we have three dimensions to the cube. And say we call this one 2, and this one 2, and this one 2. That is 2 times 2 times 2 to give you the volume, which would be a volume of 8. So we can see a cube with 2 as all the dimensions would give you a value of 8. Okay? And so the other cube numbers, 1, 8, 27, 64, 125, etc., come from these calculations here. 1 times 1 times 1 is obviously 1. This is 8. Now this is commonly mistaken for the number 6 because people think it's 3 times 2, which it isn't. It's 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which is 8. 3 times 3, which is 9, times 3 is 27. 4 times 4 is 16, times another 4 is 64. And 5 times 5, 25, times another 5 is 125. Those are probably all the cube numbers you will need to know for foundation. Okay, so now we're going to start moving on to explain what a cube root is. So let's work through this. So, if 4 to the power of 3 is 64, if I try and reverse that with a cubed root, notice it's a square root sign with a little 3, the cube root of 64 takes me back to the original base number, which is 4. This cube root reverses cubing. Okay, it reverses cubing. So now, let's have a look at the cube root of 8. The cube root of 8, we know, is 2, because we know 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So that answer is 2. And what's this number going to be? The cube root of 27 is going to be 3.